So on the front page of my WordPress theme, I have uh, three uh, post items here with thumbnail, uh, title, short content, and a read more button. And right now, this is just hard coded HTML. What I need to do is use WordPress to actually generate uh, these from blog postings. Uh, to do that, first I need to create the blog postings. So I'm going to log into uh, WordPress admin. I'm going to go over to post and add new. And I'll just call this HTML. And uh, I'll copy and paste that. Little Ipsum text. Paste it in there. And I said we need a thumbnail, and we don't have thumbnail support yet. So what I'm gonna do is go over to my functions.php file, and we're gonna add that really quick. Won't take long at all. Look down here at the bottom. Add thumbnail uh, feature. And it's really, really easy. Do the add theme support function. And within the parentheses, you want to type post thumbnails. And make sure you spell it right. And, and that with a semicolon and save it. And then go back to my post and I'm going to click publish because I don't want to lose it. And there you see down here I can set my featured image now. So I'm going to click on that and I'll just take an image from my desktop. It's 300 by 200. And it gave me two for some reason, but whatever. And I set that as a featured image. And I want to add one more. Paste that dummy text again. And I'll just set the same featured image for now. I'm going to publish. And I need to plug my charger in. Okay, so um, where was I? Oh, I don't think my Hello World post has an image. I'm just going to go there and add one really quick. It's same 3 by 200 And I will close this for now. And now it's time to use WordPress to generate these post titles. And hopefully they'll show up with our uh, newly created content. I'm going to switch over to my text editor and I can close this for now and open up index.php and down at the bottom I have these uh, thumbnails class and this is where my content is. For now I'm going to highlight all of these list items and just comment them out and We're going to use the loop function again. Um, the loop function on the home page or index.php has a uh, slightly different functionality uh, than our inside page template. On our inside page template, when we use this loop, we only pull up content from that single post. But since WordPress by default is a blog, um, our home page actually pulls up a feed when we use the loop. So. I can demonstrate that really quick. I'm going to copy this first list item and I'll paste it right here. And if you're wondering how I generated this loop so quickly, I'm using a package for Sublime Text and I actually have a video that shows you how to install that. Um, it makes things really easy. Let me paste that list item. Remember to be within this unordered list. And I'll move this over for now just for readability. Okay, so we added thumbnail support in our functions file, so we don't need to put in this image. Instead, we just open up PHP and put thumbnail, or the post thumbnail, excuse me. And can delete all this stuff in here for now. For post title, 
we no longer need to write the title in. We can just open up PHP tags within there and put the title. And we'll leave this empty for now. Let's see. We don't have to write our content anymore. WordPress is going to give it to us. So I'm going to open up more PHP tags and put the excerpt. Because I only want a trimmed down version. I don't want the full blog posting to show up on the home page. Let's see. For read more, to get to our blog post from the home page, we have to link to it. And luckily, WordPress makes that easy too. Within our anchor tag, we can add um, PHP tags for the uh, reference. I'll put permalink and I'm not sure I need these p tags here either. I'm gonna take these out. Yeah, that should be good enough. So I'm gonna save it, and I'll go back to my homepage. And down here, you see our hard coded feed. And when I refresh it, you'll see our blog postings that we added earlier. When you click on the link, actually, I don't think I set this up. No, let's set this up really quick. I'm just going to copy and paste the permalink and I'm going to put it right here for our title. That's better. Refresh. Now, when you click on one of these links, uh, the title or read more, let's see, this is what happens. And that is because each blog posting uh, requires its own template, just like the uh, inside pages do. and that's what I'll be doing in the next video. Thanks for watching.